In the high stakes arena of modern warfare, where speed, stealth and survival define victory, a new era of air power is taking flight. Imagine a jet fighter that doesn't need a runway, one that soars to 50,000 feet, strikes with precision missiles from over 2,000 nautical miles away and adapts in real time to the chaos of contested battlefields. All without a human pilot in harm's way. This is the XBAT, the world's first AI piloted vertical takeoff and landing fighter jet unveiled by Shield AI, the pioneers in autonomous defense technology. What makes the XBAT special? It's powered by Shield's AI Hive Mind. Think of it as a super smart computer brain. Hive Mind lets XBAT fly on its own, even if it loses contact with its team or GPS. It can work side by side with other jets, like the F-35, making split-second decisions to stay safe and complete missions. Shield AI is already building XBAT. They've tested its engines, run it through wind tunnels, and are gearing up for its first flights in 2026. By 2029, it'll be ready to roll out at a much lower cost than traditional jets, about $27 million each. It's designed to help the US military and allies stay strong, save lives, and keep peace. XBAT isn't just a jet, it's the future of flight. It's Shield AI's promise to make the world safer with technology that's smarter, faster, and ready for anything. Welcome to the new era of air power. We are building and proliferating the world's best AI pilot and next generation aircraft. And the Shield AI team, fun fact, is mission obsessed. On October 8th, 2023, one day after the terrorist attacks in Israel, the Israeli Yamam counterterrorism forces used our hive mind powered product Nova to help rescue hostages is a truly singular outcome that no other defense company has solved. We believe the greatest victory requires no war. And when you see it, I believe that you'll probably think to yourself, holy shit, that thing is fucking cool. <laughs> that air power without runways is truly the holy grail of deterrence. Air power that is everywhere means it creates an infinite number of dilemmas for the adversary to deal with. In fact, Ukraine has struck Russian aircraft numerous times on the ground, taking out strategic bombers with drones that cost a few hundred dollars. In the recent India-Pakistan conflict, India hit 11 Pakistani air bases, keeping a large percentage of Pakistan's air power on the ground, not able to do anything. Expeditionary vertical takeoff and landing is the way to break that cost curve. By not being dependent on large central bases, we spread out our air power across the theater, closer to the front lines, greatly complicating the targeting picture for our adversaries. Their deck space is precious, and their air wings are deadly, giving them an air wing greater than many air forces around the world. This thing hauls ass and sips gas. Because it's got a big engine and a relatively small aircraft that gives it a pretty high cruise altitude and it cruises extremely fast, XBAT really is in many ways the marriage of a rocket and an airplane. We actually take another page out of the rocket playbook by incorporating a blast deflector which protects the ground or the ship deck from the exhaust of the engine during both launch and recovery. XBAT is really the world's first autonomous fighter jet because it has the ability to organically close its own kill chains without reliance on third-party assets. Shield AI is the world leader in AI pilots for military aviation, and that AI keeps getting better every few months. In a pack, perhaps one aircraft is acting as a sensor, the other aircraft are staying passive, 
We believe that the greatest victory requires no war because our adversaries realize that we have a decisive advantage. The fundamental goal of XBAT is to present an asymmetric dilemma to our adversaries. This aircraft is capable of taking on the toughest mission assignments, going up against targets uh, that have a value many times greater than what this platform costs. Autonomous fighter jets like the XBAT represent the future of warfare because they solve the fundamental problem that's decided conflicts throughout history, protecting your air power while destroying the enemy's ability to project force. Shield AI's XBAT is the world's first AI-piloted vertical takeoff and landing fighter jet that doesn't need runways. It can launch from ships or small bases and costs only $27 million versus traditional jets. It's powered by Hivemind AI that operates independently even without GPS or communications, working alongside manned jets like F-35s. Air power without runways is the holy grail of deterrence because it creates an infinite number of dilemmas for the adversary. The XBAT solves a problem as old as air warfare itself. Concentrated air power is vulnerable. Every major conflict has proven that if you destroy an enemy's airfields, you neutralize their air force. Pearl Harbor in 1941 wasn't primarily about sinking ships. It was about destroying aircraft on the ground so they couldn't defend the fleet. The Japanese hit American planes while they were parked in neat rows, eliminating US air power in one morning. The Israel-Egypt conflict in 1967 showed this again. Israel launched preemptive strikes, destroying most of Egypt's air force on the ground in hours. The war was effectively over before Egyptian pilots could even take off. Airfields are predictable, fixed targets that concentrate your most expensive assets in locations enemies can plan to hit. Ukraine proving that you can take out strategic bombers worth hundreds of millions with drones costing a few hundred dollars shows how the equation has changed. Russia's aircraft sit vulnerable on known air bases. One successful strike eliminates multiple planes. The Indian-Pakistan example is even more direct. Hit the bases, ground the entire air force. XBAT breaks that vulnerability completely. Vertical takeoff means no runways needed. You can launch from ships, forward operating bases, even urban areas. Spread 50 expats across a theater in unpredictable locations instead of concentrating them on three major air bases. Suddenly, the enemy can't plan strikes because they don't know where your air power is. The AI autonomy is what makes this work at scale. Human pilots need rest, rotation, extensive training. Hivemind gets better continuously and can operate in conditions that would ground pilots. Lose GPS, lose communications, the AI keeps flying and completes missions. That reliability means you can actually disperse these aircraft without losing effectiveness. The cost asymmetry is the deterrent. At 27 million per aircraft versus 80 million plus for traditional fighters, you can field three expats for every enemy fighter, and each expat can engage targets worth far more than its own cost. That's the asymmetric dilemma. Attack with expensive systems against cheap distributed threats or hold back because the maths doesn't work. Greatest victory requires no war is peace through strength in action. When enemies look at the battlefield and realize they can't win because your air power is everywhere, unkillable and cheaper to produce than their defenses, they choose not to fight. That calculation prevented World War III during the Cold War when both sides had overwhelming force. Expat updates that deterrence for modern warfare. Instead of massive carrier groups or sprawling air bases that signal intent and take weeks to position, you have distributed autonomous aircraft that can be anywhere, operate independently and present threats enemies can't effectively counter. The deterrent isn't the threat of using them, it's making conflict unwinnable before it starts. Picture this, a potential client searches for what your business offers and your YouTube video appears. Before they've even booked a call, they've built trust with you, turning them into a warm lead. That's why our clients are hitting $100,000 months, because YouTube turns attention into authority. If you run a business, book a call and I'll show you exactly how to make this happen.